Time waits for no one. No one. It's continuous, isn't it? Time and that whole thing of it's constantly ticking and pacing away through the day and kind of always there in your mind and perpetually just carrying on, isn't it? Now, I'm fully aware that my cancer over time is perpetually just growing and becoming just this horrible, nasty thing in my body. Now, I thought the pain that was uh, caused in my legs and stuff was because uh, of other stuff. But by the sounds of it, it looks like I've got a, probably an osteosarcoma in my uh, left leg. Um, we don't know for sure. Uh, by looking at my leg, uh, it's quite obvious something isn't right there. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a crazy one. Now, I've started this uh, GoFundMe thing. Uh, to try and find uh, help and research in other places in the world and just to get appointments and try and live my life a bit because at the moment I can't even live my life. Um, yeah. It's horrific. It's horrific. perspective of everything for me has gone all warped and having conversations with people is hard um, I can't keep my cool, I'm angry all the time the medication that I'm taking is just mesmerisingly uh, getting me off my face kind of thing uh, and I don't want anyone to think I'm ignoring them because I've not responded to comments today I'm sick. I've been spending all day trying to get treatment, like to help me with everything. And we may have some opportunities in America and uh, Germany, for instance. And I, I don't have the money and stuff to do this. So I've been trying to work out ways to kind of fund myself, either getting a team together to get all the stuff to them, or getting all the information to them. But this all costs money and stuff, and. I want to survive, and the amount of cancers in my body is ridiculous. So, for, for, for you who don't know, I have a primary cutaneous uh, sarcomatoid carcinoma is one type. Then I've got a uh, pleomorphic sarcomatoid carcinoma, which is another type. Then I've got an un unknown sarcoma uh, at the moment, which hasn't been completely excised, which is quite large, actually, and they can't see it fully on the scan because uh, it's obstructed. Uh, so they think it's actually even larger than 3.5 centimetres. It's just in an obstructed place. It's in my lymphatic system. Uh, we found out that it's in my um, bloodstream, my venous system. Uh, uh, it's just uh, horrible. And then this osteosarcoma uh, that could potentially be there after uh, after everything that's gone on in the last week. I'm surprised that I'm still going. I've had this for three years now. Three years. Originally, like, I complained about the lump in my back in 2013. Uh, and I've, I've, I first got treated in 2015. And I wish I'd... At the time, I, I'd met a doctor who said that they thought that the lump in my back was cancerous in 2013. And I was like, well, if it's cancer, just let me die. And then when I found out what type of cancer it was, and when I found out what it was, I was in the same position. I was like, don't, don't keep me going. Just stop it. And now I've got this kind of like new fight in me. I want to win. I don't want it to beat me. I don't want it to beat me at all. 
And when I'm pushed into a corner or feel like I'm scared or something like that, all I do is want to fight my way out. And the way that I explain it to people is like it's someone's got a noose around my neck and the cancer is the, the person with the noose around my neck and it's pulling it tighter and tighter, but I'm pulling it off. I, I'm literally pulling that flipping noose from around my neck and I'm not going to let it suffocate me. I'm not going to let it win. Um, and if I have to go all around the world to find some answer or something to win against this, then that's what I'm going to do. It's crazy though. How quick this has taken hold is crazy. A couple of weeks ago I was fighting fit and... Uh, okay, I've had cancer and they told me I, I was kind of okay. And they thought it would recur, but like this has recurred in a massive way. Um, I'm sure if you look at my old videos and stuff like that, you'll see how bad it's affected me. I've started to uh, expose a lot more about what's happened with me. I, I didn't want it to be a sob story in the start. Uh, I didn't want it to hurt people or show the horrible, horrible side of everything. Um, I just thought I'd, I'd vlog it to try and help other people. Uh, to understand how it is, one, from a male perspective, because it's very rarely seen properly, and two, from someone who is my age fighting it and determined to just win. But none of us at the start thought it would be this bad. We thought I'd have a lump and that would be taken out and then I could go explore and find out options for other people, help the other people to get further with their like treatment and things like that. And now I've become the subject of this, this video diary, this vlog for everyone. And I've become this like kind of exposed human being. Um, and I am exposed, I'm exposed to everyone and it's hard <clears throat> and I would love to be able to just comment back to everyone at the moment but the, the, the fact of the matter is this is just just too too consuming of my time trying to find treatment um, I don't have any money so I like I, I live off of um, the generosity of my family and everyone uh, and Claire and everyone just looking after me um, and I've exhausted all my uh, options. We were lucky yesterday that the people that we were talking to were listening and they, they agreed that I have more knowledge on certain things than they did. Um, I'm by no means an oncologist or anything like that, but I have studied this for a long time and other people and their progression and their 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 reasoning for doing stuff and looking into alternative medicines and stuff. And I can survive this for a certain amount of time, I know that. But now it's into certain parts of my body, I don't think I can. So I'm a bit worried about that. I think everyone in my family is worried about that as well. Um, I don't know what else to say to you today. Um, I don't know how to express how I feel today. I feel very hurt, very uh, upset, very broken. Um, but I won't. I won't. I won't give up. I promise, every, I promise everyone from this point I won't give up. Um, whatever I have to do to try and survive and me to accomplish my mission of like meeting other people, inspiring other people and then just doing something that's uh, possibly going to help people in the future even if it doesn't help me, That that's something that I really want to do. So, yeah, if you can... Um, 
yeah, continue. Yeah, if you can all continue to support me, just keep watching, and I'll keep giving everyone my progress and try and make some cool videos in 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 the time that I have to make cool videos uh, when I'm not being treated or dealing with everything and. I'll try and explain the situation and what I'm doing with other people. It might shock everyone, but there are probably people who can testify and comment. I respond to nearly every email, every person who asks for me for help or um, that. And I don't have a team of people doing that. I'm doing that genuinely just by myself. So, yeah, it's just getting tough. And it's hard and the pain and the, the emotional side of it all and then it's just it's, it's sorry my, my camera went wrong uh, I've not got used to it yet and I'm not sure about how to use it so uh, I'm doing my best um, if you want to support me and help me and stuff uh, yeah, please continue to watch. Please continue to comment and encourage me uh, and get involved. I've got my GoFundMe if you want to help me to find treatment and stuff like that. Um, I'm just incredibly thankful. And I know I'm a weird subject to have every day in your life or whatever, but if it's become something that you, you want to help or... Uh, you feel bad for me, don't feel bad for me, it's just something that's happened and I, I, I'm understanding of that and I want to help other people. So yeah, on a, on a lighter note, please help me to inspire other people and get better. Ho hopefully you can all inspire me more to get better. Um, and it won't be a vlog of like the end of my life. I don't want it to be a vlog of the end of my life. I want to be vlogging about the start of my life. And me actually doing something that's worthwhile or doing something that makes a difference in other people's lives. I want to make a difference in other people's lives. So yeah, please continue to share everything that I do or whatever. Um, and help me and we'll continue to give you the information that we know uh, and find out and I, I didn't get my bone scan results uh, today but we did have a chat with them and it's got to be checked by someone else before uh, so we'll find out first thing on Monday and I will vlog first thing Monday with the results as soon as I get them um, but yeah, there's some nice people been involved today and helped and um, potentially can help me. So let, let's see what happens. Thank you. And yeah, if you want to help, just help. If you don't, then I'm not fussed. It's cool. Just enjoy me and my content and things that I do. But yeah, till tomorrow. Bye.